Welcome to the Spark of Humanity, second segment of our talking about the Pilgrimage of Love. The Pilgrimage of Love is a prayer resource offered through the Spark of Humanity Network website. And we are here to talk about more about that. And you're very welcome with me today are Axie Noyes, Ann Wade, and I am Martha Holden. And we're all interested in our spark of humanity connecting, being strong, so they can f connect with other people's sparks, which helps transform this world. And for our sparks to be strong, they need to be fed. And some of us think of our sparks as being fed through a root system. And one of the places our roots can go into is various forms of prayer and meditation. So today we're talking about this particular prayer offered on the website. So shall we pray it? Yes. Yeah, sure. Or do you want to do it. something first? I, I, you know, at some point I would love for you to talk about how the, how you came to this prayer. It, it, it came to you. Okay, I, the I, I can do that, then we can. Then we can okay. I don't know is the answer. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Did you find it's, yourself writing it down at some time? I found myself saying it. Okay. And it just, prayers I have, I have prayers that become standard in my prayer life um, because I like to pray. It mm -hmm. gives me Mm -hmm. It feeds my spark. Mm -hmm. It transforms my life. Mm -hmm. It's what feels, it's the only time I know I'm not, not getting into trouble. So you said it once, I, and, and it, then it, it came morphed, back around again? Well, I don't know whether it was the same, but this is, you It know, seemed to be. And it settled into what's on the website, and yeah, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I mean, how do you paint a picture? How do you conceive a child? I mean, you know, yeah. how, do, how, yeah. does, how does miracle happen? Yeah. Right. Okay. Good enough? It is. <laughs> it is. They, okay. There's a thing about if, if, uh, if, you're, if you have a song that you can't remember, mm -hmm. and Native Americans say, you have to call the song to you. Okay. And so, and it may take a while for the song to come back. This is a song that you think you've forgotten, and you, within a... A, an hour or a few days, that mm -hmm. song will come back to you. Okay, right. Yeah. So and I think that's the, you know these things have maybe they're a, they've had their own life. Well, I think the pilgrimage of life has a has a life of it. Pilgrimage of love has a life of its own. Mm. And I think that it was pilgrimaging. It was doing its thing. Right. Um, for eons before I became aware of it, at the departure gate at Logan Airport in the end of December of 2010. And I just realized that here was this thing that was happening and growing and I was becoming aware of it and my <laughs> awareness was expanding. <laughs> and then I guess the prayer just downloaded. I can yes. take no responsibility for it. Right, it came. It came, mm -hmm. it came. So, yeah. shall we give it a try sure. and then we can talk about it in pieces? Yes. And we're reading it because this is a new prayer to some of us. Yes. Martha right. has. <laughs> I pray it every so I, day. Yes. So slowly, please, so okay, we can let's, say it. Okay. Yeah. And do we want to say that we've got, we'll put in whatever. Uh, the, where there's a bracket. We'll bracket. put in whatever we each feel or like. Not. Or not. Or we might not. Put it in. Yeah. Okay. All, all living and ever loving, loving. Not and. All living, ever, ever loving. One. You. God. You, you who, who breathe in, in us the spirit, spirit of, of your, your presence and desire of us only your wholeness. Bring we, us bring, we bring before you, you the, the pilgrimage of love, a, a communion, communion of prayer through, through the underside. Form and, and flow through it as, as it is your will. Bless those within its embrace Foster in them in wisdom, wisdom strength, strength, stamina, and joy, that it may embody your desire and, and renew us all for your service. service. Amen. And then whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have to ask Anne a question because sure. it came up during the break. <laughs> 
and and shared something with me about this prayer. The one thing that gave her a, a you know, like a piece of burdock mm -hmm. that snagged her was the was the concept of service. Okay, Anne. <sighs> yes, I'm. I guess the I think it's the word service that. Uh, my my brain automatically went to a command performance like the service of our military forces and and mm -hmm. it just went to this I was having a, a, a good time reading it <laughs> until that last word kind of <laughs> jolted me and and it and it went into a different place yeah um, but it's my own lack of really comprehending the whole the whole word and the whole meaning of even I think of thy will not mine be done mm -hmm. just popped into my brain um, and I am accepting of the fact that I'm not in control, but I can't really explain why it made you uncomfortable. It made me uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that word has been there forever, or since the prayer came. But it, just to give you an, an idea, for some reason, a story, because this is a segment of this that um, if you can't tolerate Christian language or Christian concepts, just turn us off right now. <laughs> um, be, because there are some people, as I was not too many years ago, that would you know, stone their TV sets or burn their computers at any of this stuff. But we need to be able to talk freely about it sometimes, and this is a time when we're going to talk freely about That's it. That's right. right. And, and but right. It, there, it's, it's all subject to translation. Well, that's true. That's and one of the so gifts. So it means uh, what are the the mm -hmm. enemy here is anything, any word that you hear that makes you stop and say no, no further. Uh, it uh, you know you can dissolve that word. It doesn't. It, it that's a that becomes a problem for you. It's like a small little tumor. Mm. Uh, you know. So service, but, but I agree with the service word. And I, it, there's, it, this is not a, a journey for the soft uh, at heart. I, I think it should be considered and decision made because it does mean, uh, you know, a, a decision that one's going to try to drop selfishness. Lose the self, actually, in a certain to be way. Be willing to be transformed. That's right. By and so our, own our ideas of what we were, are, you know, that's good to have an idea of what you are, but you have to be willing to change. Mm. Otherwise, mm. you don't want to go this path. Yes, that's do turn true. it off. True. Yeah, just turn it off. <laughs> right, right. But but you may you're you're welcome to leave it on. Yeah. Because and and you can sort of take what you like and leave the rest. Yeah. Make right. it so it works for you because. We welcome everybody. You're all absolutely welcome, and we have no doctrine to jam down your throats. No. We don't. There's no dogma. There's. This is an offering of a. It really is sort of a spiritual practice or a spiritual path. This whole spark of humanity. You can thing. be Taoist and do this. Sure, of course. You could be a Hindu. You could be an atheist. You, you could be yeah, a nothing right, at all, right. except. But you do have a spark of humanity, whether you recognize it or not. We see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you want to join us, that's fine. And and anything you're offended by, ignore or else hold for a while and see whether you become less offended. Is that fair, act? Yes. I do. I think it's very, uh, very fair. Right. And that a lot of the time, as one of the things that happens as you grow older is you maybe realize that you put something away from you that didn't seem to fit at the time, but you begin to wonder maybe if that didn't have some purpose in your life. This is what happened to me and why I have mm -hmm. not, I've, I've stopped rejecting Christianity and have actually found within, from, largely from you, Martha, <gasps> and, and from our prayer group and reading the 
desert fathers and mothers uh, stuff is that there's it's rich ground and and to have I can't believe I almost threw the whole thing away. It was really throwing the baby with the baby, with bath water. And I'm really glad I didn't do that. But it, even but if you tried. No, it's in it's, there. It's got the boomerang. But, right. right. Uh -huh. That's Bungee right. cord. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's rattling yeah. around in there somehow. Right. But it's nice to, you know, yeah. uh, be open rather than closing the door, uh, just to try to be open. Right. We're going to talk about the couple of places where there are blanks in the prayer, but first I'd like to go back to your service. Kidding mm. on the service thing, and and what do I tell the story? My one of the the prayers that I use now focus on I want to serve the life of the one I'm praying to here, the all-living, ever-loving, the one that's living us all, and the asteroids, and everything, that everything is being lived by a life that's still lively. And I know that my comfort is when I'm as closely aligned to that as possible, when I am living that life, when that life is being allowed to live through me. Um, strengthening my spark and I think of that as serving the life. I had an encounter with a high, my higher power at one point a few years ago. I said, what do I do? You know, how do I pray at this particular point? How, what do I do right now? And the answer came, pray to serve my life. And that, that okay, because I knew that that life that I experienced is beyond dimension, and it goes beyond. It goes before. You know, it's it's time and space else. has right. Been. Always will be there. It will be there. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so that life, that integrity of that life, is what I want to be as deeply into as possible, and to use the the English word service and the concept of serving that life is what allows me to get closer in there because sitting on the bleachers and critiquing it doesn't work. I want to be, I need to be in it, and that means being part of it, participating. Participating, right. acting. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. there we go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> well, yes. I, I do want to share, I did have an experience with prayer when my, my brother passed away at age 50 and I had gone out to his service out in Colorado, and I'd never been exposed to the Hail Marys. This was a, a, a high mass, wow. mm -hmm. and um, and it was really a whole different world. But you mentioned something about repetition, mm -hmm. and I actually, at first when they were repeating the Hail Mary, Mother of God, and, and I, 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 I was almost like, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. understand how many times are they going to do that. I mean, I had no clue about the rosary and how many times, and it just kept going on and on and on. And then, but then I, I, I saw the peace and the, and I felt the love mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. little. It was a tiny little chapel. Mm -hmm. And it was very, I got goosebumps now because it was, it was transformative for me to, to see how it really um, gave them s the strength and the, and, and the ability to keep it together. It hooked into a reality yes. that you had no idea of right. before that. It hooked into a reality that, yeah. And, and and it was a it was a very beautiful powerful thing and I, I was I was working Look at your camera oh mm -hmm. and I was <laughs> I was working and I did um, I I played with it some at work and I had my I, I didn't carry a rosary or anything but I did try to repeat it and memorize it and I can't remember exactly why I quit but it it was. Um, it was a beautiful thing to actually mm. be 
mm. privy and witnessed this mm -hmm. event. So yeah. I wanted to share that because yeah. yeah. when you mentioned repetition, mm -hmm. I can. Yeah. I know that uh, you would ask Martha about how she spells God. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. The, at the beginning, the all living, ever loving, you can say whatever you want, mm -hmm. one, but I, in my personal, I think of it as God, G O D D E, which I've learned since I started spelling it that way, is between God, traditional, Judeo Christian sort of God, sort of mindset and goddess, which is much more fluid. But someone suggested this to me a long time ago, and I did it just because it's a, it's a visual reminder to me that, that the God, that which I pray to, never, well, let's not call it a God, but it is, um, <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> is, is, cannot be contained within a box or understanding, and that it's got a life of its own. And if I'm, I'm participating in that life, Comfortably, if I if I choose to be of service to that life, and not so comfortably, if not, but I think we're all participating in that life. But anyway, so I spell it that way just because it it keeps my mind open from freezing into the yeah you know, Sunday school stuff. Mm -hmm. And then at the at the end of the prayer, that it may renew us all for your service. And There's embody your desire, embody your desire, and renew us all for your service. And when I pray it myself, I have to confess, I say, for the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, in my mind, Jesus, love him, not <laughs> the only Son of this. You know, we're all children of the divine mystery. We all are participants. We're all. We're all pseudopods of the cosmic amoeba, however we want to consider it. We're all aspects of the divine mystery. We are all incarnations. We're all incarnations, mm -hmm. right. But nonetheless, that's what comes off my tongues. And our Savior, um, because truly, as I'm beginning to experience, I've been praying this for a while, and uh, allowing myself to pray it, realizing that 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 the life that Jesus lived, his incarnation of the Christ principle, as you were, uh, as mm -hmm. Axie can tell you, Christ is not Jesus' last name. No. Not, not that. That that, the integrity with which that life was lived has shifted the metaphysics, I think probably throughout all creation, not just the planet Earth, but it, it did something to the metaphysics. It certainly did something to those who were around it, witnessed and, and participated actively in that life. And they began to see the world very differently. And, and yeah, it, so there's the, ma the being, the human being, Jesus, mm -hmm. and then this concept that is developed from that of, of the Christ consciousness, or however, it's a big thing. Or the Christ the that biggest been thing there before. It, it, probably, right. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's very big. Yeah, and I have resisted that. These, these names and concepts, uh, for me, are like, they're, they're some that are almost like tripwires. Mm. And I've had to uh, step over them and say, I'm not going to have a reaction to this. I'm just going to try to stay open to it. And, uh, you know, I found that by connecting other traditions, I, I mentioned mm -hmm. Taoist or, mm -hmm. or, or the uh, Hebrew tradition, you know, where, where this... Uh, name for uh, the being is never of, of whatever it is is never even said it's too holy to say so you don't put a name on it which is a limiting factor right so you have all these nicknames like forgotten one or you know where they where they oh. will spell G blank D mm -hmm. rather than you know uh, so it kind of skirts around something and leaves it nameless and uh but i will say, yeah i've had a i 
I have a, 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 a disability in this regard because I, it's a prejudice. Mm. It's a prejudice. And I'm still uh, trying to be open to it. This does not mean that I, you know, uh, I don't think I could be even called a Christian in a, in right. a certain well, why? way. But I am studying it and I'm open to, you know, learning about it. I mean, Christianity was just a, a, a really far-fetched uh, branch of, of, of Judaism. When it, in its beginnings, mm -hmm. it wasn't Christian. It was some. It was like on the a sect. It wing, was a sect. fringe. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. and and so you know, uh, and in many ways, the part that I feel most connected to is that stuff back there, where it was sort of neither one nor the other. And what was it? And what are we yeah. talking about? I love that stuff. There's yeah. yeah. There's there's a distinction that I've bumped into in the writings of William Stringfellow, who was a wonderful theologian of the last century. And he would not talk about Christianity because he didn't want to have his ideas, he, did, he didn't want to be boxed, he didn't want to have to be, he refused to be put in a position of defending the Christian church. I mean, who wants to do that? Who wants to do uh, not that? Not me, I don't have energy. <laughs> I want to think about my spark of humanity. He talked about he had a biblical faith. And I love that because what he's saying is that I'll use the word God, spell it however you want, but he's saying that there is a there's a divine power that acts in human history, mm -hmm. and that lives that is living and active in human history, and that that's what he means by a biblical faith, and that's that's what he has. He doesn't talk about himself being a Christian, mm -hmm. but he's someone who has the biblical faith, and I find that's something I can hold on yeah. to. I can take that one home. I like mm -hmm. that one. So it's, but yeah, it is all part of the divine. Right, right. And we're all, we're all free, thank you, dear God, to play around with it and to find our journey and to find mm -hmm. our path mm -hmm. and seeking. Mm -hmm. Seeking. And if it doesn't work now, it might work tomorrow uh, to be open, as you were saying, Axie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a few minutes more. You've got more questions, comments? Some, anything you want to say? Yeah, I just, I, I was sitting here, I'd forgotten about the Centering Prayer group that I joined mm -hmm. not long ago in Randolph, and, and, and I loved going to the group, um, and there was a small number of us that would meet once a week, and we would, somebody would pick a little verse out of the Bible, and I'd never even actually read the Bible or thought about it. I have a, a beautiful leather-bound version of the Mary edition, which I wasn't even aware of Jesus's parents' names. And I've, I'm realizing that I'm just beginning on this journey. <laughs> but it was a wonderful, cent the centering prayer where we read and we would read the same verse a few times and then we would sit in, in the quiet and meditate and there was such a power in having mm. doing it in a group rather oh, yes. rather than oh my gosh yes. I find and, and they, they were Very, always saying you know well you can do this at home and I'd be like oh yeah I will and then I'd Next the week, next week mm -hmm. would come along, and they'd be like, "Did you practice?" And I'm like, "No, I thought about it, but um, that's mm -hmm. one of my big problems. Is I, I love praying with other people, and I and I it's feel very that different. It's, it sounds it's, like it's not it's a problem. It sounds yeah. like it's a resource. Mm -hmm. You need to make it happen. Yes, more. Mm -hmm. it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good point. You could get your own, start your own roots group." Hey. To have your spark fed. I like that. So you could start your own roots <laughs> group too. No, that's a great idea yeah. because it was. It was just. It was a. It was a. It was a lovely experience being with these people. And did you say? Uh, uh, did you say, Anne, that you you thought about it when you went home? They uh, you went. You went back oh, to them. Oh yeah. They said. Uh, did you do it? And you said, no, but I thought about it. Right. And sometimes I will sit down and with the intent That's of it. praying. That's it. But you did do it. 
But I, 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 I guess I felt like in order to to complete it, it would I should at least sit still and and pray for at least like 15 minutes or should should yeah. that's yeah. true yeah. that's all of these it's, and and you were doing prayers that you were journaling prayers for a while and that yes yeah, so that you know that's another way right that's true yeah it's of connecting mm -hmm. every every morning and sometimes at night but mostly in the morning i would write a letter to what I consider like my higher power because I know that my journey in life is guided and I feel I'm blessed because of things that have happened to me so I will write I'm, I love writing anyway but I will write a letter and, and usually it turns out to be full of gratitude and just thank you for all that I am blessed to experience today and especially nice. looking around the world and knowing how much is happening. This is what I'm talking about, the householder aspect of it. Right, that exactly. There's a, there's a, one tends to feel that it's illegitimate to take something and make it your own in your own way. You, your thoughts in your own home, at home, if, if that came into your consciousness, that's contemplating the, the event that happened. That's it. Now how whatever you do with that maybe you you had it you thought of it and you put it down and maybe some of the reason you put it down was you thought well it's not really legitimate unless I do there are these rules that I have to, somehow I have to say prayers or I have to do it a certain way not necessarily so it's a great huge open field uh, that that you know that we're in here when we're talking about this kind of work and and we limit ourselves and uh, I like to say there's no wrong way to that's do it. Right. Although that's you were I, talking about the negative stuff at the end of the last segment. Even that is because but, oh. the net, when I have that mm -hmm. uh, negative prayer, mm -hmm. what they, it's not bad. This is not something to be frightened of. It's when I'm having the negative prayer, I can. It's an opportunity because I'm learning something about myself. Right, okay. I don't get the negative prayer because of them out there. Right, no. I have that because it's resonating inside of me, something that is connected to the behavior that I'm seeing. But it's a so distortion. it's something that I have right. going on, and I can oh, learn yeah. from that. It's, so it's not negative. Right. It's within. It's a distortion within yourself. Within myself. Which, because you're doing the meditation stuff, you you stop being defended against right. the recognition right. that there's the distortion that which right. probably came from that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We're just out of time. <laughs> so it's been wonderful. Thank you, Martha. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.